What up, DBs? Coach Felipe here with First Down DBs. And for today's video, we are going to be talking about just breaking down a couple clips of the one and only Revis Island, Darrell Revis. Uh, I try to find some clips just throughout the entirety of his career, right from the beginning to about the end of it. Um, but just looking over some press man looks. Now, the biggest thing with Revis, obviously, he just always seemed to be in the right spot, in the right area to make plays, right? A ball hawk. He is a true corner, generational corner, right? He's just on a different level. Now, the biggest thing that I noticed with Revis is technique. He's violent, right? He's aggressive with his hands when the receiver declares his release. He shoots his hands. He's patient in his technique, specifically in press. And I think it's about five reps here that I have clipped. Um, just press look by Revis. Going to Vince, uh, get up against some of the greats, like on this first one, Chad Ochocinco. Um, I'm going to play through these full speed and then kind of break them down and just talk about The technique we see from him and why he was able to be so good and so effective and a menace in coverage really but looking at this first rep versus Ocho Cinco does a great job we don't get nothing aggressive and explosive from Chad Ocho Cinco here so it's pretty easy for us to mirror at this point but again pad level is good my feet he had great footwork right Darrell Rivas was one of those that was a ball hog, but he had such great lateral quickness. And that's what you need essentially as a DB, as a corner specifically, right? Especially when we're impressed, we have to be very patient, but we also have to be super explosive working laterally, right? Because we go up against receivers, we're right in their face, um, in press man specifically. So having that lateral quickness attribute in our bag is essential. But great rep here by Darrell Rivas, just mirroring from the start. Getting a little kick step in here, kick slide, right? Keeping my hips to Ocho Cinco here until he's broken my level and then start and then obviously release outside. And because I work laterally, right, I force this guy to widen his release, which is exactly what I want to do in press man, especially if I have the sideline as an extra defender, force him to the sideline. Revis does exactly that on this rep here. No space for that ball to be thrown. Another rep, similar route. We get a lot more aggressive and explosive release here by Des Bryant really quick for the size he had. Revis, again, patient. Doesn't ever really commit on that first move. He's one of the most patient corners in the game. And DBs, just know the first move is typically never the true move, right? It's bait. It's for to set us up. Revis had a great understanding of that. Doesn't bite on the first move. We get a little off balance, but that was one of the biggest things with Revis. He just always seemed to recover. That recovery speed was insane. Lateral quickness was insane, and he just worked proper angles, right? You see here that cutoff angle. As soon as Des Bryant releases back outside, right, we did a good job forcing the wide release. I, as a good receiver, well, I won't want to say it. he's not a good receiver, but right here you typically see a receiver try to stack us. But because it is a fade route, Revis is able to work that cutoff ankle, get to the hip. And then right here, the finish, I love this part. He gets in phase first. As soon as he gets in phase, he turns, doesn't like where the ball is located, zone turns, and continues to squeeze Des Bryant towards the sideline. Again, minimizing that throwing lane, forcing the hard to throw. Money rep here by Revis, especially the second half of that play. Another great rep here showing patience. Another fade route. We saw a lot of these with Revis. I don't know why a lot of quarterbacks try to test them, but we get a lot of fade routes. But again, the footwork. We get a motor, an inch back technique, right? We're giving just a little bit of room. We get this outside release. We get into our kick step, keeping my hips square as long as possible, right? I don't open up too early. Why? Because if I open up too early, this inside opens up for that receiver. If he's, that's something he wants to take, or that's a route he has to do. But again, just matching the receiver's tempo. I kick slide. I work a proper 45 degree angle to where I can get to the hit, right? Work that cutoff angle. I get to the hit. Again, I get hands on. Zone turn. And I continue to try to squeeze this route. Little by little, you see Steve, Steve Smith slowly work towards the sideline throughout the entirety of the rep. Minimizing that throwing lane. And Revis showing off the ball skills. He was, again, a ball hawk. One of those guys that will make any play on the field, whether it's coming downhill to tackle, in zone coverage, off man. You saw a lot of press uh, 
press man reps from him because he was a good on good guy, right? He's the best defender on the field. They're going to put him against the best receiver on the field. Him against Reggie Wayne here. Press man, again, patience. He on him like glue the whole rep. Patient with my feet, good pad level. I'm ready to react once he commits to his route. And because I stay square, right, because I keep my hips towards the receiver here, I naturally start forcing a wider release. Again, minimizing that throwing lane. Once he sits, my hips drop on it like glue. Another thing that I notice about Revis is he never panics, right? Even when he does get beat off a release, for example, he doesn't win on the line, you'll see reps. If you look at his film, he's very fundamentally sound, right? He'll end up behind a player, and he just go does a great job getting the eyes to the proper spot, right, on the receiver's hip, locating that hip. Obviously, the closing sp speed was insane. Does get, Always did a great job closing that gap between him and the receiver, and you don't see him look back until... He was back in phase. Fundamentally sound cornerback technique. Fundamentals is going to take you a lot farther than talent. He just happened to be athletically gifted as well, which made him a generational corner. Another situation here, uh, deeper into his career when he was with the Patriots, another press look. We get an inside release, an inside route, an in route, in breaking route. That's what I meant, excuse me. An in breaking route laterally. Pushes off the left foot, right? Quick off the foot. Boom, stick. Getting my hands on. Undercut. Snipe at the football. But the patience is always there, right? As DB is all about matching the receiver's tempo, we can't go faster than him. We can't go slower than him, obviously. We have to be able to react and mirror the receiver effectively. And Revis did exactly that. The biggest thing with Revis, what made him so great, aside from him being athletically gifted, fundamentally sound was his commitment to studying the receivers he's playing right you see a lot of these guys that played with Revis talked about how much he studied film how he prepped each game differently right because he's playing a different receiver each receiver has a different skill set different strengths different weaknesses and Revis just happened to know exactly how to attack those weaknesses how to attack their strengths and all comes with film study right we have to be prepped mentally as as well as physically Another thing I liked about Revis is he was a cornerback that had a high motor, right? He was always wanting to make a play. He was intentional with all his movements, right? He wants to make the play. He wants to be that ball player. And that's exactly what you want as a, at a corner position. And that's exactly what you want to do at the corner position, right? I got to have a high motor. My mentality has to be I'm going to make every play on the field. How do I do that? By consistently working on your craft and film study goes a long way, I promise you guys. Revis is a perfect example of that. Hope y'all boys liked the video. Y'all stay tuned for more. As always, stay blessed. Keep grinding.